Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Hoobs and we're going to look specifically at how to add plugins. So now that we've got Hoobs all set up, we've gone through the update process, now what we want to do is start adding some plugins so we can start controlling some of our devices. So what I'm going to do is come over here to plugins and you'll notice I've got a search area up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in uh, a plugin that I'm looking for for my Harmony. So I've got uh, two Harmony hubs that I want to add. And so I'm going to look for this particular plugin right here. If I just hit enter, what it's going to do is search for various plugins for these particular devices. And you can see I've got a bunch of them here. Uh, the one that I want to take a look at is this one right here. And so what I can do, if I just click here, I can go over to the actual development page and get some ideas on the actual plugin itself. One of the things I might look at sometimes is just to see when it's been updated last. You can see it's been updated or last published two days ago. So this is an active plugin. And you can see it walks you through what the installation process is, how to migrate if you had a previous version. And then it gives you some configuration samples in here, which is nice so you can get an idea of how it's all set up. Now I've got two hubs so this one fits me perfectly because it's multi-platform and that's what I want right here. Uh, now uh, if you were doing this all by yourself then you would have to go and put all of this in to terminal and then go back into your own configuration uh, file and do it this way. So let's see how it works with uh, with HomeBridge out of the box. So I'm just going to close this here and we're going to go ahead and install the plugin right from here. And so as you can see, it's going to open a terminal window for us and start the installation process. And so the nice thing is it goes, it grabs what we need, and it starts to install it. So I'm going to let it go ahead and run through this process. And when it's done installing, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so now you can see that the plugin has been installed. It says success. And you can see that it shows the install right here. So you know that we have these two plugins installed. Okay, now that we've got the plugin installed, uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the NPM here because we're going to look and see how we configure this particular plugin because now I've got to update my configuration profile. So if I just scroll down here, I want to use this multiple hubs one. And what I'm going to do is just copy the text right in here. And then I'm going to come back uh, into Hoobs and I'm going to go over to my plugins or into my configuration. And you can see that this is my configuration profile here and I need to add to it. And you can see I've got my platforms here and this happens to be a particular platform as well. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, come in here and we're going to go ahead and put a comma right here. And we're going to hit return and then we're just going to paste right here. And so we're going to paste that platform in there. Now you'll notice something that it's it's a little bit out of sorts over here. And if I come back, you can see how it's all inside this area here. So I want to make sure that I get this exactly right. So I need to come back in here. And I'm just going to tab it on the inside. And you can see how it lines up with everything else. And that's how I want to do that. just like that. And I want to make sure because I believe this right here also needs to come in line with the other one like that. And so if we just come and compare, okay, that's actually indented all the way in. So let's go ahead and come back. That's indented right there. And then we've got the other one. So that should give us what we need. Now, the way we can test it is I'm just going to come in here first. Let's rename everything. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to call this one Loft because it's the loft one. And then I've got to put in the IP address because that's how I determine the difference between the two hubs. And so I've got that number over here. And we'll come back in here. And then I'm going to do the same down here. I need to name this particular hub. And we're going to call that family room. and put in the IP address here. Okay, now that I've put the IP address in, you just click on save to save the configuration profile. You can see that it saved it. It does all the formatting the way that we want it. And now we can see if our accessories were added. So if everything worked out okay, when I click on accessories, I should see some items there. So let me go ahead and click on that. And sure enough, there you go. You can see I've got my loft device right there in my family room. 
and it says these two different parts of the plugin are not supported. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at what that means and what that looks like over in the home app over on HomeKit. Okay, so here I am over in the home app and you can see I'm in my loft there and you can see there's my Harmony Hub. If I just press into it, I have an on off switch right there. If I just tap on settings, uh, you can change the name if you'd like right there and the room that it's in and down below you can see the various inputs that I've got set up. If I had a TV uh, where the TV was being controlled directly then I could view the TV settings. In this case I don't but it shows you that information there and then if I just tap on bridge you can see that it's showing that it is uh, attached to hoops. So let me just go ahead and go back and we'll say done and so if I just flick that switch right there it's right now turning on my Apple TV and all of that and if you look at the inputs you see that I can change it to any one of those inputs so that I can change uh, whether I want to do my Xbox or Netflix or whatever I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that uh, right on there and so there we go let me just go ahead and tap out of it and you can see that it's live now one of the things I did notice is that it didn't add the second one the second one you have to go through the adding accessory configuration so if I just tap on the plus up here and tap on add accessory I can come in here and say I don't have a code and you can see that there's the family room harmony right there. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to say add it anyway. And so it's going to ask uh, for my code. So I need to put in the code for my uh, Hoobs uh, home bridge. So let me go ahead and get that number. And once I've put that in, it's going to go ahead and add the accessory. And so now it's added on there. And you can see I've got a number of different inputs uh, for this particular one right here. So right from here, I can go ahead and change the default room. Uh, in this case, it's actually going to be my living room, I think, that I have it in. So I've just got that misnamed, but I can change that any time. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and change it. We'll change it to living room so it matches. Okay, say we're done there, and we can say done, and now it's going to add it, and so it should be in my living room. So if I just come here, go to the living room, and there it is. You can see that I've got, I've got it sitting right here, and I can go into settings, and if I go through that again, you can see where it's, where it's connected, all the inputs, and again, if I had TV settings, it would be there as well, but that's now added and set and ready to go. Let's go back home here. So that gives you an idea of how to set up your plugins in Hoobs. Again, just a, a pretty easy process. It automates the front part. Uh, you still have to do some work on the configuration profile. But once you've done that, uh, everything should be set and ready to go. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.